hello everyone so today I am going to create this uh, this uh, sound ripple or you could say something like a, a space anomaly something like that uh, so yeah I'm going to create this effect today so this is basically a Niagara particle uh, we, maybe you can use this for something like a portal or some very loud sound like an alarm or something so okay let's get started all right so to implement this effect first we need a texture so i'll create 124 by 124 texture in photoshop uh, it would be easier if the black background is black and I'll draw a rec uh, circle here with a stroke like this maybe a thick stroke oh, sorry okay I think this should be enough right uh, now I'll duplicate this and hide the original circle and convert this to a rasterized, uh, rasterized layer select these two black areas and apply a feather because I need some fading effect applied here let's use the feather radius 50 and delete delete twice still we do have a sharp edge so maybe delete it like this okay i think this would work and save right now here Materials. I don't have a separate folder for texture, so I'll import the ring texture I just created here, like this, and create a material from this. M ring. Okay, I'll set the preview to a plane so we can clearly see it. Uh, let's change the blend mode to translucent and connect opacity so oh not really let's just connect the base color here and opacity here right now we get this shape so if we need a certain need the colors to use from the particle data I'll multiply this with particle color and use that color. Uh, similarly, let's do another multiplication with the alpha and connect to the opacity. Right, apply now let's go to our fx folder and create a new Niagara system let's choose this fountain ns ripple right this is what we get so i'll immediately reduce the spawn rate to something like this we don't need a gravity we don't need a drag we don't need a velocity and we don't need a shape location so it should spawn in the same location but the only thing we might need yeah we let's just uh, scale particle size or scale sprite size Scale sprite size. 
okay so here I'll set the lifetime mode to direct one I think one should be enough this one also let's set uniform it should be bigger maybe 2000 okay so if I place it here this is what we get but it doesn't really look like the ripple we need so let's use the the same ring material we just created now we can clearly see the rings okay but still we don't see any uh, refraction so to get the refraction effect uh, and also one more thing uh, we already have a scale color which is good because because of that it fades out in the edge okay so now to get refraction here let's go back to the material and let's add a fresnel as the exponent in let's try connecting R okay we already see some refraction here what about here right we don't really see that I think the reason is we are uh, the rings are always turning into the camera position so what if we do this velocity align no, yeah. so it's not always facing the camera yeah now we do see some ripple it actually it does face the camera but the alignment is different now different now see so it's sort of facing this way i mean so but the problem is in the edges this uh, refraction change is not a smooth so what if i again use this multiplication right now it's smooth <laughs> nice also if you want to change the colors you can obviously go here have any color but I prefer white and okay so here is the final preview oh one more thing if you want to like further reduce this color this white color and only need to have the ripple effect uh, we can here add another multiplier for the opacity let's say like 0.3 so we barely see the this rain colors it's almost only just like the ripple effect but if we completely remove the is this white shade it may not be as clear so just having some color is good so okay so with that i'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get 
the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.